So by finding measurable carbon-14, it's solid evidence that these diamonds are really not as old as claimed. They're not 100 million years old. They're not a billion years old or more. These diamonds are young. today at Crater of the Diamond State Park in Arkansas. Behind me is this big open pit, several acres, where people can come and dig, pay a little money and they can come and dig for their own diamonds. But you gotta wonder, why are the diamonds here? Why are the diamonds in this location and not other spots? Well, geologists, like myself, we study these types of rocks. We look for rocks like this, this kind of dark colored, heavy rock, rich in iron and other minerals, brought material all the way up from the mantle. We call these craters, the technical word is a diatreme. But down below the crust, there's the mantle that extends down about 1,800 miles all the way to the core. Some of that material shot up behind us here as part of this explosion that shot material all the way through the rocks of the crust all the way to the surface. And within these rocks, because they're found deep in the mantle, you occasionally get diamonds. Now, not every diatreme contains diamonds. Many of them do. Some of them contain commercial quantities, some of them do not. This one produces about five to 600 diamonds a year. We believe as creationists that these diatremes were explosions that happened and shot rocks to the surface during the flood. There was a lot of disruption in the mantle going on with catastrophic plate tectonics occurring, plates moving very, very fast. And because of that, you have lots of gases that build up in the mantle, bringing this mantle rock and occasionally some diamonds along with it. Conventional geologists and the signage here at the park will tell you that the diamonds here are 100 million years old. 100 million years old. Other diamonds around the world are claimed to be a billion years old or more. But ICR, through the RATE project, several decades ago, sent 12 different diamond samples off to different laboratories. And every one of those 12 diamonds came back showing measurable amounts of carbon-14. So by finding measurable carbon-14, it's solid evidence that these diamonds are really not as old as claimed. They're not 100 million years old. They're not a billion years old or more. These diamonds are young. So by finding diamonds, we can actually use these for industrial purposes. We can use diamonds to cut things. Diamonds are the hardest natural substance on Earth. They're a 10 on the 1 to 10 scale. But for centuries and centuries, since people got off the ark, they've been collecting diamonds, cutting them just right, and using them for jewelry. Really, when you come here, this is another example of the explosions, the devastation, all part of the judgment of the flood, which happened just 4,500 years ago. The reason we can find these diamonds is because of these explosions, the movement of these plates, all this turmoil taking place in the mantle caused these explosions to pop up almost in every continent of the world. So God provided these diamonds through the chaos and the judgment of the flood. He loved us that much. He provided this and other resources for us to use and to thrive here on Earth. Thanks for joining me today on Creation on Location.